Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm Dara David. And in this video, I'm gonna study math. Sobrang nerd, no? Nagsalamin na ako to complete the look. So, yeah, you can call this a study with me or a day in the life. I don't know what to call it yet. But I just really want to show you guys how I study math. And maybe give off some tips and techniques kung may naisip ako. Before we proceed, I would just like to clarify some things. Number one, the math subjects I will be studying today are applied statistics, discrete structures or discrete math, and math analysis. These are first year computer science math subjects. Yata Darla, akala ko ba second year ka na? Like I said before, yung kinakuha namin this second year first term ay actually dapat yung first year third term subjects namin. Number two, I know na may advance pa ang math ng computer science. These are just the basics of computer science math as in surface level. So, don't expect na ito na at ito lang yung math ng computer science. But hey, I just wanna post it kasi this is part of my journey to computer science. And of course, someday I wanna look back at this and maybe make another study math with me video. So, who knows, diba? And lastly, I am not good at math and hindi ako matalino, average lang ako yung dinadaan sa tiyaga. I'm also not an expert in giving math tips and techniques. So if you guys have any, I would really appreciate it if you comment it below. Magtulungan tayo dito. And yeah, yun lang yung aking mga disclaimer. Let's get started with this video! Okay, dito, discrete structures ay nakafocus siya sa discrete math such as sets, mathematical induction, Boolean algebra, predicate calculus graphs, number theory, counting, theory, probability, trees, and relation. Tapos ko na-aralin yung modules 1 to 3. Module 1 is more on in the introduction of the subject, like ano pinagkaiba ng discrete data sa continuous data, ano yung mga different algorithms, and yung definition ng discrete structures. And then sa so module 2, Dito i-introduce yung propositional logic, which is natutunan ko na rin last year. And dito yung parang truth tables, yung mga PQR. And meron dito mga negation, conjunction, disjunction. Gusto ko lang ma-share nung habang nag-a-assignment ako ng discrete structure. Sinulat ko na lahat ng possible outcomes para titignan ko na lang at ma-practice ko siya. Sa module 3 naman, nandito yung formal proof of validity. Nandito yung mga... Paano mo malalaman agad kung valid or invalid yung sentence or statement? Yan, mga modus ponens, mga argument forms, kung valid ba siya or invalid yung logic niya. And as you can see, kahit pangit ng aking handwriting, my first tip that I can give you is to use different colored pens para ma-highlight nyo. Yun yung ginagawa kong highlighter, yung colored pens. So, kunyari, pag may asterisk or may notes, I use red ball pen. If parang may formula, I use the green. Pag may definition, I use the blue and violet. Medyo nahihirapan ako kasi logic. Kaya hina ako sa logic. Pero, ayun, number two tip, practice pa rin tayo ng practice. So, later, I will be showing you the usual uh, websites na kumukha ko ng worksheets doon or usual YouTube channels sa kung saan ako nanonood ng mga YouTube videos. Now, let's move on to module 4 and 5. So as you can see, sa left side, nandito yung PowerPoint na kukunan ko ng notes. So kunyari my notes, I'm gonna write it here sa aking yellow pad. And then after each slide, pupunta akong Quizlet. And then, doon ko lalagay yung mga notes na lalagay ko dito. Or actually, ang ginagawa ko, kinakopy ko lang and then pinipaste ko here. So nagawa din ako ng reviewer sa Quizlet. Kasi, pag nagre-review ako, gusto ko may flashcards. Plus, yung notes ko sa reviewer. So, tip number three, use Quizlet for reviewing kasi it's really, really helpful. Actually, dapat yung Quizlet ko, lalagay ko dito sa uh, monitor ng laptop ko pero kita nyo naman sira, papayos ko yung LCDs. And then, sa right side, you will see the video na pinapare ng prof namin and haba nag-notes ako, nakikinig ako sa videos. So I'm taking the formative exam right now and I just wanna add na if may di ako na gets na question, is screenshot ko yung question, send ko sa sarili ko and then if hindi ako nakapasa, 
I'm gonna study that specific question. And if nakasa ako, I'm gonna save it for review. So ganon ginan ko ako. Kasi open notes naman siya, kasi hindi siya recorded. So pede ng main notes, pede mong picture yung question for future reference. Ayun ginan ko ako. <laughs> Okay ako sa sets, hindi pala. Nahihirapan ako sa proving set identities which is the module 4 subtopic 3 kasi napaka slow kong tao. Like, hindi ko mabishon agad yung kailangan ko i-imagine. Like, if may given na example na ganito, hindi ko may imagine ko na yung ng Venn diagram niya agad. So, ang ginagawa ko na lang, may katabi akong parang guide para may imagine ko agad. Tapos, para ma-prove ko siya agad. <laughs> ang hirap! Sana all fast learner. Oh my god, my internet is acting up and I don't even know what the choices and the questions are. Oh my god! Okay, quick update. Habang inintay ko yung next question, kasi sobrang bad na nag. Inalo ko ulit yung topic na hindi ko medyo naintindihan. Sinulat ko ano usually tura ng definition of intersection, definition of complement, and definition of union. Tip number five is gumawa kayo ng unique way like kunyari acronyms or parang keywords or something like this na parang may formula ka or kodigo. Something that will help you understand the topic more. And yun, nakatulong siya sa akin. Noong nag-question, tuloy-tuloy na ako at bilisan ko na lang. So, tinayin yung score ko. Kita mo na 19 minutes, tas naka 17 out of 20 pa ako kasi bilisan ko na. Now, let's move on to apply statistics. Yung statistics, uh, meron akong background dito dahil meron kami sa STEM no, ng senior high. And meron din ako ng last year. And right now, I have four modules. For module one, introduction lang siya to statistics. So, medyo alam ko na siya. Like, definition ng variable, definition ng data, data set, descriptive statistics, differential statistics, and so on. And then for module two, methods of data collection. Like, you have the primary data, secondary data, yung direct method, indirect method. Tapos, nandito din yung pagdetermine ng sample size. And mga sampling techniques like simple random sampling, systematic sampling, and so on. For module 3, we have a data presentation. And dito yung qualitative data, quantitative data, group data, and group data. And um, and dito na yung frequency distribution table. So you have the the mean, the class limit, the class mark, upper class boundary, lower class boundary. Basically, pagbuo ng frequency distribution table for group and ungroup data. Nandito pa ngayon notes ko from last year. Sinama ko na siya dito para hindi ako maguluhan and kasi parehas lang siya. For module 4, naka-focus siya sa measures of central tendency. So module 5 nakalagay dito measures of dispersion, position and shapes and meron siyang 86 slides. So oh my gosh, it's going to be a long long night, guys. So yeah, let's just let's just go on. In my experience sa statistics, basta may formula card ka and alam mo yung step-by-step -step process and alam mo kung para saan yung each formula ay okay ka na dun. Kaya ako pumapas sa statistics kasi since senior high, inaaral ko na siya and napapractice ko na siya. So medyo memorize ko na rin yung ibang process. Except this Chevy Shems. <laughs> Ngayon, pinapanood ko siya. If nahihirapan pa kayo statistics, I recommend, of course, the Organic Chemistry Tutor. Number one yan sa YouTube and Khan Academy. Also, my circuit math tutor. Hindi ko naman shadow vlog yung module 5 kasi puro calculations lang naman. Gamit tong formula card ko ng first year and itong napakalumang uh, calculator. Isa pa kong math subject ang dapat tapusin, which is math analysis, which is also known as the pre-calculus or calculus ng um, term ko ngayon. Uh, it, hindi ko na kaya. I wanna rest kasi tinang yung oras. It's 10 p.m. So, baka bukas ko na siya ulit aralin. But I'm still gonna vlog it though. I'm just really tired. 
sa math analysis, nandito yung mga functions, limits, derivatives, chain rule, basically yung calculus. And nagkakaroon ako ng flashback kasi nung STEM, dito ako nihirapan. And hanggang ngayon, para sa akin, ito ang pinakamahirap among all my other math subjects this term. And sobrang tagal ko siyang hindi inaral. Sobrang tagal ko siyang hindi inaral na iba na yung tumbler na ginagamit ko. Tapos iba na yung lalagyan ko ng notes ko. Tapos iba na yung bed sheets ko. Tapos, ayan, eto lang yung purple sa hair ko. Unlike this great and statistics, kaya ko talaga, like, we need a day. This subject takes a lot of time and energy for me to fully understand it. And every time na tinitay ko siya aralin for the past few days, talagang nadadown lang ako and talagang na nadadrain lang ako and I just I just feel so unmotivated. So, I took a break from it. Hindi um, ko muna siya inaral. And then, sabi ko sarili ko na huwag ko pilitin. So, I didn't. And I think it's important for you guys to know that it's effective for me to do that. And just take a break lang talaga. You can't force yourself to study. Kasi pag mas, pag mas pinilit mo sarili mo mag-aral, mas mawawalan ka ng gana. I just told myself na, okay, I'll study this if I feel like it. Pero not in a lazy way na hayaan ko lang sarili ko na parang um, talagang basta ma-feel ko lang. I do things that will make me feel like I want to study again. Like sleep early. Ayun, madalas nagpupuyat na kasi ako. So, I started to sleep early again. And I started getting more help from my friends. And I started to accept na minsan mababa talaga ang grades ko. Ano kasi ako? <laughs> grades conscious. Pero parang alagaan nyo lang sarili nyo. Ganon. Just take care of yourself. Especially in these times of pandemic. Na mahirap talaga. Kahit wala akong ginagawa, mahirap at nakakapagod. Ganon. So, right now, I just feel like I can study math analysis. So, ngayon ko siya i-vlog. So, let's go. Share ko lang pala, kaya ako nagpalit ng tumbler. Kasi yung old tumbler ko, hindi niya kaya like for ilang hours malamig pa rin. At lagi ako nababa sa ref. Parang ko muna ay. So, nakakatamad. So, I switched to aqua flask. Not sponsored in anything, but I really love this aqua flask. Perfect siya for online classes. Kasi di ko na kailangan bumaba palagi. And I'm just gonna be here with my aqua flask. It keeps my water cold for mga ilang hours talaga and it reminds me to always drink my water which is very important and at yun sinasabi ko kanina so meron akong mga envelopes for each subject ang hirap kasi sa isang clear book lang so ayan nag change na ako so So as usual, so una palang hindi ko na siya gets. I'm literally at slide number seven, and hindi ko na siya gets agad. I went straight to YouTube, the lifesaver, and I found a good video about increment method na tagalog. So yun yung pinapanood ko ngayon, and so far na katulong siya. Hi, sa no all hindi bobo. bagal ang net ko. Ito yung lumalabas. So, <laughs> just gonna trust my gut. Oh my god, I'm so haggard na. Thank you guys so much for watching this. How I study math-ish, study math with me-ish. If gusto nyo pa, just comment it below and maybe I'll try other subjects as well. Sana nakatulong to sa inyo and if you guys have any suggestions on what videos I should do next, also comment it below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to get notified on my next video. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!